Welcome back, everybody. It's another crazy commentary from the Craze Barton. And today, I'm going to be talking about the possibility of Halo Reach being remastered in 2017. Now, this is kind of an odd subject, considering we are literally two weeks, two, count them, two weeks away from uh, Halo 5 Guardians. But you know what? I had a friend of mine ask me this question. What if... It was a, a theoretically speaking, what if uh, Halo Reach uh, was going to be remastered? And I thought, uh, didn't think too much of it at the time, but then after getting some time to think about it, I'm thinking, hmm, that might be a possibility. Because let's take a look at this uh, analytically. Um, is Halo 3 going to be remastered in 2017? Not likely. Um, the reason I say that, and it is the 10 year anniversary of Halo 3. However, I say it's not likely because Halo 3 is already on the Master Chief Collection. It is already 1080p, it is already 60 frames per second. So, to be absolutely honest, I don't think Halo 3 is going to be the choice. Now, Halo Wars, nope, that's getting uh, a new game here in uh, next year, 2016, which I can't wait to play, as I've been a fan of real-time strategy games since forever. Um, but that leaves pretty much Halo Reach. Now, then after thinking, you know what, it's a very good possibility Halo Reach could be remastered in 2017, but then how would it be remastered? How would it be implemented? And that's what I wanted to talk about here today. And I'll make it kind of brief here. It's not a terribly long gameplay. Uh, we have, uh, is it going to be added to Master Chief Collection? Or would it be its own separate entity? Now, to be absolutely honest with you, in the current state of Master Chief Collection, I would actually prefer it to be its own game disc and its own game because that's just so much easier to manage for on a uh, developer standpoint you're not dealing with five six seven different uh, codes and trying to get them all to work together and and then throwing in a new batch of codes it's just going to be a frustrating experience so I was thinking it'd be best if it was a standalone disc you got it it didn't go in Master Chief Collection, it just went uh, to itself. So that's my thoughts on that, but more than likely it'd be placed on the Master Chief Collection. How? Now, how would I actually want it to be implemented uh, in gameplay-wise? Of course, 1080p, 60 frames per second would be the standard. That's going to be a huge upgrade because it Halo Reach had a little bit of a grittier look to it. Um, but it definitely would uh, benefit a lot from that upgrade uh, campaign especially and speaking of campaign let's go right into that here the campaign which I enjoyed um, had its faults um, but other than that uh, it would need to be run on dedicated servers uh, that way if I'm playing online with friends I say let's play some Halo Reach campaign uh, I don't have that little itty bitty uh, stack of lag and it doesn't matter how good your internet was there was always that little bit of lag I mean it's just nothing you could do about it and, and firefight suffered from the same thing um, so hopefully all that would uh, run on dedicated servers now hopefully firefight would actually be implemented in this now firefight I enjoyed it in Halo Reach, but I definitely preferred ODST's version of Firefight. So hopefully there'd be a survival type of Firefight mode. Um, that I would definitely prefer. It felt more challenging, especially when you and, and three of your buddies try to stay alive and keep your pool of lives going as long as you possibly could, uh, which ODST did very well. So hopefully they would do that type of thing. Now for matchmaking now this comes with <laughs> there's two versions of matchmaking basically right now there is the super slayer and then there is the regular slayer now hopefully just so you guys know super slayer just plays so much better but it intimidates other people um, I don't know why but nobody likes to play it um, Hopefully they would use that version. I mean, there's no bloom or very little bloom, so your shots are more accurate. 
I think your speed has increased a little bit and your jump heights increased a little bit too uh, but um, it just plays so much better now the other thing to matchmaking I would like to say I would like the loadout system to be removed from matchmaking even though it's not full custom loadouts just get rid of it just get rid of it have that for custom games only because honestly the most frustrating part for reach was for me was everybody running around with jetpacks uh, active camo uh, armor lock don't forget armor lock guys if you remember armor lock back in the day uh, they were just frustrating uh, and I believe that was probably a large reason for the drop-off in uh, people playing so that is my thoughts so hopefully they'll just go for a more of a pro version and if you wanted to play those you could play custom games but that is about it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the possibility of Halo Reach remastered so we'll see you guys in the next one. This is Cray Spartan. I'm out of here. Game over.